Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the very first video of the introduction to Atomsky playlist. So here I will be discussing about the types of data handle, handled by Atomsky. So firstly, the cell vectors H. Secondly, atom positions represented by P. Thirdly, shell positions represented by capital S. And lastly, properties represented by AUX. So if I go into depth about each of these data types, Firstly, we find atom positions. So what does it indicate? Here, if we look at the figure, we will see that uh, the first row, there is an ID. So it specifies a particular type of atom and the X, Y and Z represents the coordinates of that particular atom while the Z1, the capital Z1, represents the atomic number of that particular atom. In the second data type, we find the shell positions so here it is particularly used for the ionic core shell model and it is not applicable for every atom or every system because not every system has charges or in some cases the atoms are rigid and does not have any shell in that particular case the value of the capital z would be zero and in other cases we would find that the id one represents the first or the shell that you have identified as one and the x y and z represents the coordinates of that particular shell and the capital z one represents the atomic number of that particular shell in the third data type we find properties so each column represents a property we see that there are three columns a b c so these three columns can represent properties for example, electric charges, force, velocity, and the ID123 represents an atom. So for a particular atom, we can define a particular property. This is the task of this data type. So what do we do with this data type? Firstly, we read the data files with the help of Atomsky, and then we can modify and convert the data files into another format for visualization or for uh, for so that we can run that data type using a simulation software. So what is the initial data type? Here is an example of aluminum unit cell dot XSF. So this is randomly generated aluminum structure. Uh, if I go into the depth of this particular structure, we divide it into three parts. In the first part, we see that here it is written FCC aluminum oriented. So what does it mean? It means that the structure is FCC. It consists of aluminum atoms and the orientation along X, Y and Z axis are shown. By crystal, it means that the structure is crystal. And here the prime vec means its primitive vectors of unit cells. So in the second part, we see that convec. So convec means conventional vectors, which means the conventional native vectors which define a unit cell. So uh, in the first sight, you might see, uh, you might uh, feel like that prime vec or convec are essentially the same, and why are there two of them? So the reason is, in cases like FCC and BCC, they are same, but if our system goes through a transformation these data types do not uh, this particular arrays do not remain the same and in the last part we find prime chords so what does prime chords mean it means that the first two represents the cells and the prime chords represents the atoms within the cells so at the first line we find four and one four means there are four atomic four atoms and one means the ID type is one. From the second line, we find that there is a number 13. So 13 means the atomic number 13 and the subsequent columns represent the coordinate of the atoms. So for the first atom, we find that the coordinates are 0, 0, 0. And for the second atoms, the coordinates are 2, 2, 2 of the particular atom. Okay. So what do we do with these files? We can convert these files into different formats, like we can convert it into CFG for running in Atomi. We can convert it into LMP for running in LAMPS, and we can also convert it into Posker for running it in VASP. 
then there are different options so what we can do is we can take the input file and we can modify them and we can modify them with the help of options so firstly we need to use a dash sign and we can we have multiple options that is we can duplicate the system we can create defects etc so here is a demo code in this code we will see that firstly we read the input file that is aluminum unit cell dot xsf then we duplicate it what does it mean to duplicate it for example you have one particular cell and you want to make a system of many cells what you will do is you will multiply that one particular cell and you can multiply it in all directions so it is what is indicated by 2 2 and 3 it means that it can be duplicated in the x y and z axis by the times of 2 2 and 3 secondly we find another option that is deform uh, in this option we are deforming the structure this x means along the x axis this 2 means by a factor of 2 we are deforming along the x axis by a factor of 2 and the 0 0.33 means that there is a shear factor of 0 0.33 and finally we see that there is a line uh, there is a word aluminum supercell dot cfg which means that our output is saved in a in a file named aluminum supercell dot cfg for visualization by ovito finally we can carry out different modes and by modes uh, when we create modes we have to use double dash before specifying the mode and there are different examples like we can create an atomic system we can create a polycrystal or, or bicrystal system we can convert multiple files into a list and we can merge several atomic types into one so there's a lot of theory i would go into some demonstrations here i am opening the uh, tutorial page for Atomskin. We are downloading the initial file. You can also create this initial file by yourself, uh, which I will perhaps keep the code in the description of this video. So I am copying it to my folder here. Then you can open the windows powershell here so i hope you have already installed atomskin now since you already have the initial file you can convert it into all these formats all you need to do is copy and paste here and you see from the initial file it is converted into cfg lamps and vasp so what's the proof so you see there's cfg lamp and the vasp file uh, if you want to visualize this, you can just take the CFG file, drop it into Ovito, and here's our structure. There are four aluminum atoms. Now, if you want to duplicate and deform this, what you need to do, here is the particular code for duplicate, duplication and the deformation. You can paste it into this windows powershell and you see uh, this is duplic deforming by the system by 200 percent along x-axis moreover the poisons ratio is 0 0.33 so if we look at the structure here i am dragging and dropping this aluminum supercell and see here's the structure in this structure you can see uh, if you count the number of atoms, you can see that it is duplicated along x, y, and z axis. Moreover, if you look at the system, you can see that it is actually deformed. And the deformation is by a factor of 2, if you can calculate the distances. So, thank you. This will be all for today's video.